Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are from. It's Easy Gamer and welcome to another Roblox Dungeon Quest video. And yes, we got struck by another surprise update by Vinny. This update came out of nowhere. As you can see, I'm in a totally new map. This is the brand new Lobby 2. It looks really cool. I never expected Vinny to make an update like this. Now let me just zoom out so we could all appreciate the view of this huge place. So now it's time to explore Lobby 2. Over here we can find the new location of the merchant. Hello! Now if we go back to the center we would see an obelisk with small crystals chained onto it. This could either be a quest relating to the Excalibur quest or it could be a hint of another secret quest totally different from Excalibur. Next stop is the blacksmith, but first we'll take a look at the new location of the daily reward which is right over here. Look at how cool this looks. I don't know if this was intentional like if the weapons inside the ice mean something or not. Like if it's a clue to the Excalibur quest or to a totally different quest. Maybe saving these items for any future updates might be worth it, but nevertheless it looks awesome. Now back to the blacksmith. By the campfire, we can find the new location of the blacksmith. Everything seems so much further apart now, like it takes quite a walk from area to area. So now let's go to where the new target dummies are, which is way over here. I don't see me using these much, but if you're looking for it, it's over here. Lastly, we go to another mysterious area, this gigantic door. We haven't even opened the door in Lobby 1 yet, and here we are with yet another door that we are wondering if we can open or not. But yeah, this is one of the biggest mysteries on Lobby 2 so far. Anyway, this is the new Lobby 2 loading screen, and it seems to be highlighting the door for some reason. But who knows if it means anything or not. So that's enough exploring for now, let's get into more updates. Aside from the Lobby 2 revamp, we also get a rare chance to loot an armor, cosmetic, and title when completing a dungeon on Nightmare difficulty, and each dungeon has its own corresponding cosmetic armor and title. Luckily, some people have already looted these so-called cosmetics and posted pictures of it on the Bikafi Discord server, so I could show you all how they look like so you could start farming on the dungeon that has the cosmetic that you like best. Let's start with Desert. This one looks like an Egyptian costume. I actually like this one a lot. Next one is Winter Outpost. I'm not really sure what this looks like, but if you guys know, please tell me on the comments down below. Now, for Pirate Island, we have this peg leg pirate costume. Arr! On King's Castle, we have this costume, which I would say might be my favorite one so far. Next is Underworld. And this seems to be the most popular among the guilds on the Discord server because of the demonic look for some reason. On Samurai Palace, we have this costume which looks like a Japanese wonder like Kenshin Himura from Samurai X if you guys watch that anime. Some of you might like it. Now moving on to the canals, this costume looks more like a bandit or gangster. It looks so much like the gears on canals already. And lastly, we got the Ghastly Harbor Cosmetic, which doesn't really look related to the map for some reason, I don't know. So that's the new update. Which cosmetic do you like best? Which part of the new update did you like? Let me know in the comments down below. So that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's Easy Gamer. I'm signing off and see you guys on the next one. Bye bye and peace.